Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. Time to step aboard the collaboration train. Woo woo! We're testing some rare ammunition against body armor today. Let's take a look at what we have. You may remember my M993 versus body armor test. I believe I was the first to test it and post it on YouTube. So we have another first. With the help of Kevin Gross, aka Wolfgang Gross on ARFCOM, we have obtained some M995 or AP3 and AP4, 5.56 NATO, as well as some M948 or 7.62 SLAP. M995 is a 5.56 counterpart to the M993. It's a 52 grain tungsten core loaded by NAMO. The AP4 is a heavier version of M995 coming in at 62 grains. In Kevin's vast knowledge, AP4 has never been imported in the US, let alone any public tests about it. The M948 SLAP utilizes a tungsten projectile inside of a plastic Sabo. I believe this projectile is a 19 caliber and weighs around 92 grains. Velocities are stated to be in excess of 4,000 feet per second. Not very accurate though. In our past test, we've utilized Nathan at AIM Research for our high speed photography. Unfortunately, we couldn't work out any good schedules to get this tested in a timely manner, so we'll have to forego the high speed camera and use my 240 frames per second cameras that I have. We will use a clear ballistics gel block that was donated by Backup Tactical and funds from my Patreons. For our armor, we will use a model 1155 plate donated by RMA Defense. This is an NIJ-06 certified plate. It utilizes a single piece ceramic strike face. From Caddy Armor, we have their level 4 plate, model 4400, which is also NIJ certified. We'll be at 45 feet and we will attempt to capture bullet velocity since I have a limited amount of these available. One round of M995 will be put into each plate. One round of AP4 will as well. If M995 penetrates the first plate, we have plates left over from the M993 test that will be used to double up to see how far it will penetrate. So up first we'll do the AP3 or M995. Like I said, this is a 52 grain tungsten core round. We'll shoot this out of the 16 inch stag. If it does not go through on both plates, we can probably use the 22 inch TC compass. Velocity 3276. So here was our shot, pretty much right where I wanted it to go. That's a good job there. What do you guys think? Remember, this is first ever on YouTube. AP3 M995 armor piercing, the real stuff. Ho! Oh, no pass through. There is a little bit of dimple there. Probably nothing to write home for on back face deformation. But at 45 feet NIJ testing distance, this level four plate from Caddy, it's a Hesco rebrand, stopped it. Let's uh, get the RMA plate up there and see what happens with that one. All right, now we'll take the same shot of AP3 against our RMA 1155 plate. Velocity, 3,300 feet per second. Here was our shot right there. What do you guys think? You think Harme lives up to King of Armor? Yep. No pass through. Even a smaller dimple on the back side of that plate than the caddy. Nothing in the gel block there. Let's go to something else. So now we have the AP4, which is a 62 grain version of the M995. Again, tungsten core, we'll use the 16 inch. I only have three of these, so if we don't get a penetration, that's all the data we're gonna have. Velocity, 29.89. So here is our AP4 shot. We are two inches from the AP3. What do you guys think? Uh-oh. <laughs> it's hard to see, but there is a penetration there. Uh, here's the gel block. Looks like we go at least 15 inches. There's a mark on our back face there, our back panel, I should say, from where the bullet looked like it kept going. Interesting, so AP4 against level four at NIJ distance, can't handle it. Let's check the RMA one now. Now we have the 115 plate from RMA, AP4 again. 
I moved it a little over on the gel to see if we do get a penetration, if we can capture the core. Velocity, 3,009 feet per second. So here's our AP4 right on the money. I mean, we're a good three inches away from that last strike zone. And no penetration that time. There is a dimple there, but still just that one mark from the AP4 from the Caddy. Let's uh, step up to that 308 threat. Okay, I actually forgot I had this particular ammunition in my collection to test. This is a 152 grain tungsten core projectile from New Lennox. We had to hand load these. We have a 22 inch TC compass, with one in 12 twist, and we'll see what we get. I have a feeling based on the M993 test that this is gonna go through. Velocity right where I want it to be. What do you guys think? Oh, a little tiny hole pokes through that plate. We got a pass through there. As far as wound profile goes, we've got that full 16 inches of block. And then the core is right about there. So that's some pretty good penetration after level four. Let's try the RMA. So now we have the 1155 plate, same 152 grain Lennox. I have a feeling it will go through. Velocity 2830. guys probably have the same guess as I do penetration it's not slowing it down I mean there's just a little tiny exit hole on the back there and tons and tons of fragmentation and penetration through the entire first of block let's see what else we can do all right we're back to the AP3 we have a 22 inch barrel we should get significantly more velocity out of this this should go through Velocity, 3584. All right, here was our shot on the caddy. What do you guys think? There's quite a bit of hole there, but no pass through. A little bit of a dimple there. I guess this is good data. All right, back to the RMA plate. Still using the 22 inch barrel here. That's 3,500 feet per second. Wow. Thirty-five eighteen. Here's our impact right where I wanted it. We're far enough away from these other hits that there shouldn't be any cracks propagated in there that's going to compromise this, but that's kind of the hard part to tell with level four is any shots starts to compromise the strike face. And there is a penetration there. It's this top mark right here. Goes quite a ways. There's just a little tiny hole there where it penetrated. Well, that's good data. Let's see what we can do with the slap. All right, now let's hit it with some slap. You gotta be really careful with these. I don't think the military uses these anymore. 
because sometimes the sabo had a tendency to break off and the projectile go sideways out of the barrel. So we're hopefully gonna not have that happen. I don't know if the chronograph bill will pick this up or not. We'll find out. Velocity, 4,016 feet per second. Now, for the armor test, I have a model 1155 plate from RMA, the one from the M993 test, behind the plate that we're shooting because I have no doubt that these will go through. Let's go see what we did. Here was our slap right on the money there. What do you guys think? There's no doubt in my mind at 4,000 feet per second, we got a hole down there. <laughs> Now, the second plate is trashed. There's ceramic everywhere, but it did not go through. So, if you want to protect yourself against slap, you just need two level four plates. Now, let's see what the slap looks like if we can capture it in ballistics gel. Let's uh, reset back up and we'll just use one plate this time. All right, now we have the 1155 plate up. There is just a single plate. We're gonna see if we can capture this in gel. Didn't get velocity reading off that, but I'm glad we did off the first one. Our shot on the slap. No doubt in my mind, there is a penetration right there. I don't think level four is designed to stop anything like that. As far as any of the wound track goes, it's going to be hard. I only had the one new block, so pretty much I just had this here to, to see, and there's just a giant mess here. So hopefully, the high speed will give us kind of a temporary wound cavity stretch going on there. A couple cool footage there. Maybe it's this guy right down here going off to the side, but wow, 4,000 feet per second. I think I'll let those results speak for themselves. Like I said, never been done before. The AP3, AP4, the new Lennox, and the slap, I don't think they've ever been done on a public YouTube video against hard armor, that is anyways. I'd like to thank RMA Defense and Caddy for providing us with the hard armor to test, my Patreon supporters for the funds to buy the gel block, uh, my lovely assistant, my wife, for helping me hit all the record buttons on the cameras for the footage that we got today, and especially Kevin Gross for providing us with that ultra ray ammunition that you'll probably never see again. As always, thanks for watching everyone. Until next time, catch you at the range.